Hello scholars, welcome back. Today we are going to look at money, multiplying and dividing. Now, if you are not versed with multiplication and division in and of themselves, you, you can go and check the videos that were done specifically on those topics, right? So there is a video on multiplying, there is a video on dividing. So if you need to brush up, just go and look at those videos and then you can watch this one. So because we're focusing now on the money aspect of it and we're going to be doing the multiplication and division a bit quickly because we have already covered those topics. Okay. So bear in mind, let's say you go to the shop and you're buying whatever item it is, let's say you're buying four of them. So you, to, in order to find out how much money you have to pay, you would multiply that quantity by four, right? Or if you're, whatever, whatever number it is, whether four things, six things, 25 things, you would multiply it by that amount. Similarly, if you have to share up a quant share or di distribute a quantity of money among or between persons, you will need to divide. So let's say you got $400 and you're going to share that among your friends, right, to buy lunch for everybody. So maybe you're going on a picnic, a little outing with your friends, and mom said, take this $400, give it e evenly to your friends and yourself so, yourself so that you can buy, buy little stuff for the picnic, right? So you would need to divide that amount of money by the number of friends to see how much money each will get if we're sharing it up evenly. So we follow the basic principles of multiplication and division because dollars and cents are already in the decimal place system that we use for our regular addition and subtraction. It's already in decimal, so we don't have to worry about converting anything like when we're adding days and weeks and so on. We don't have to worry about that kind of thing. So we simply set it out and we go straight ahead and multiply or divide. So $16.02. So let's put our dollars, cents. $16.02 times four. We just go straight and work it. Four times two, eight. 4 times 0, 0. 4 times 6, 24. 4 times 1, 4 and 2, 6. So that's $64.08. Just like what we would normally do, we just make sure we pull back our decimal point to separate the dollars from the cents. Okay? Now, Eight dollars and ninety-three cents times six. Six three is eighteen. Six nine is fifty-four and one fifty-five. Six eight is forty-eight and five fifty-three. Fifty-three dollars and fifty-eight cents. Ten dollars. 56 times 3. 360 is 18. 3 5 is 15 and 1 16. 3 times 0 is 0 and 1 is 1. 3 1 is 3. So that's $31.68. So we have 34 cents times 7. So, so $0. 34 cents times 7. 7 4 is 28. 7 3 is 21 and 2 23. 
7 times 0 is 0 plus 2, 2. So that gives $2.38. So we're here. Zero dollars, so this is three cents times four. Four threes are twelve. Four times zero is zero, and one is one. <clears throat> so that's actually just twelve cents. Okay, twelve cents. So now we are going to the division, which is the same principle as regular division. So we have $12.68 divided by 2. 2 goes into 12, 6 times, 2 into 6, 3 times, 28, 4 times. Right? Just like that. $48.30. So $48.30. Thirty cents divided by three. Three can three goes into four one time. Remainder one. Three into eighteen six times. Three into three one time. Three into zero zero. So three goes into forty-eight dollars thirty cents. Sixteen dollars and ten cents. So if we're dividing this quantity in to share among three persons, each person would get $16.10. If we're dividing the $12.68 to share between two persons, each person would get $6.34. So let's do the other two now. So we have $16.64 divided by So 4 into 16 goes 4 times, 4 into 6 goes 1 time, remainder 2, 4 into 24 goes 6 times. So that's $4.16. And finally, $72.60 divided by 12. So 12 into 72 goes 6 times. 12 and going to 6, so we must hold our place. Very important to put a 0 there. 12 cannot go into 6, we hold the place, right? 12 into 60 goes 5 times. So if we're sharing $72.60 among 12 persons so that each person gets an equal amount, each person would get six dollars and five cents. And this is how division and multiplication of dollars and cents comes in handy. For the division, we need to know if we're sharing an amount of money equally among a number of persons or between two persons, we divide to see how much each person will get, right? Or if we are allotting some money to particular, let's say you're making a budget and you're allotting this equal amount of money to a number of things, or when we get to ratio, different amounts of money in a particular ratio, a similar step we'll have to divide for the multiplication part of it, we, we are working out if we are buying something, if we are buying an, an, a certain number of things that cost the same. So the same thing we are buying, any number of those items, we multiply the cost by the number of items to see how much we are going to pay. Right? So it's very important for us to master this. Even though nowadays, Almost everybody's phone can do the calculation for them. Or you have a calculator you can take out and do it. Even so, we still need to be able to use our brains. If you don't use it, you're going to lose it. 
So don't be too reliant on the gadgets. They are very convenient. They make life much easier. And yes, you should use it. But every now and again, you need to do the mental arithmetic. Use your brain. Use your brain power so that you always remain sharp and you don't lose that ability. If this video has benefited you, I would love for you to share it so that other students can benefit from it. I would love for you to comment and to say thank you, Miss, for helping me to add dollars and cents and to subtract. If you have not subscribed, please do so now. And if you need to refresh yourselves on the basic principles of addition, of uh, multiplication and division, Please go to those separate videos, watch them, just to make sure you have the knack of that. Because I went a little fast through the procedure because I know that I already covered it in those videos. So to keep yourself on the cutting edge, you can go back if you need to and watch those videos. And my beloved scholars, I will see you in the next video. If you have any suggestions as to what topics you want me to cover, please write in the comments and I will certainly cover those topics. So I will see you next time.